written by Jesse French and illustrated by Bruce Lackey. This is a story of the land and all the people affected by drought. This is a real reality of many Australians living in drought ridden communities every year. The story starts with the introduction of our unnamed protagonist, with the imagery of the still green backyard cricket pitch, a past memory for the narrator. Through the eyes of our young protagonist, the reader experiences the intensifying changes that are made on this farm as the rain is a memory and drastically conditions become drier, impacting the wildlife, plant life and human life. Sheep staggered and grew weak till Dad sold them so they could eat. The strong emphasis on the pronoun shows that strong connection between farmer and his animals. French uses simple yet sophisticated poetic figurative language throughout this book, which is written in verse using rhyming language and creating a rhythmic flow. The illustrations appear to have a washed out and subdued colour palette, as if they may have once been bright and vibrant, but have since faded in the harsh sunlight. The text, like water, is used sparingly, but each verse is carefully constructed to create vivid imagery, even before you see the images. So dry, the hot baked rocks could cry. The use of personification gives drought humanistic features, bringing to life the harsh and emotional impacts of drought. In many of these imageries, Watley has let the colours run off the page, the colours leaving the drawing just as water is leaving the landscape being depicted. Aerial views are used to emphasise the vast nature of the dry land. The use of the adjective withered is used throughout the book, which creates connotations of age, dried and desiccated, flora, fauna and family. Strong themes such as community spirit is felt when the trucks come rolling in filled with supplies, which is followed by the greatest gift of all, which is rain after two years of drought. The story drought has dark themes such as death and despair, but it also is filled with positive themes of determination, strength and patience. Thanks. The rain and life eventually return and in the end, we see the drought break and the renewal that rain brings to the land and for those who live on it. The young protagonist closes the story by saying that she will take a bath, a metaphor for new beginnings. She is joyous. This is a time for celebration. I highly recommend this book from anyone ages eight all the way up to 100. It perfectly encaptures our sunburnt country that we live in. Thank you.